the Cayenne's facelift is actually able to generate some expressions on the faces of those who see it for the first time. It's an improved design, with redesigned, slightly larger optical blocks. They now offer matrix LED technology as standard, but customers can opt for even better lighting called HD Matrix LED, which brings 32,000 pixels to each headlight. The brightness of the headlights can have up to 1,000 modes of operation. Also at the front, a discerning eye will notice the new hood and slightly flared fenders. At the rear, the optical blocks have been refined and now have a very discreet appearance. With the facelift, Porsche introduces 20, 21, or 22-inch wheels, as well as a six-tone color choice. I honestly fell in love with this Montego Blue used on the launch car. If I still mentioned the interior, I must tell you that now the Porsche Cayenne facelift adopts an air quality system, offered as standard, which works in close connection with the navigation. Thus, the system knows when you enter a tunnel and activates recirculation. A sensor also detects fine particles and filters them as often as necessary. And finally, an ionization system purifies the air to protect those who suffer from allergies. The facelift brings some important changes under the hood as well. To begin with, Europe will benefit from three engine versions. The entry-level Cayenne will offer the same V6 petrol engine, but optimized to deliver 13 horsepower and 50 newton meters more. That's how we reach 353 horses and a torque of 500 newton meters. The facelift brings some important changes under the hood as well. To begin with, Europe will benefit from three engine versions. The entry-level Cayenne will offer the same V6 petrol engine, but optimized to deliver 13 horsepower and 50 newton meters more. That's how we reach 353 horses and a torque of 500 newton meters. The next version is the Cayenne S. Surprisingly, it ditches the six-cylinder engine and returns to a four-liter V8 Biturbo, capable of 474 horses and 600 newton meters of torque. That means 34 horses and 50 newton meters more than the old Cayenne S. With such resources, the Cayenne, as well as the Cayenne Coupe variant, accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.8 seconds. The maximum speed stops at 269 km per hour. Cayenne Hybrid promises 83 electric kilometers. The third version available will be the hybrid, i.e. the Cayenne E-Hybrid, which uses the same V6 from the base version. Together with a more powerful electric motor, 176 horsepower, the total resource package reaches 470 horses. The changes don't stop there. We also have a bigger battery, which reaches 25.9 kWh, up from 17.9 kWh. That brings an official pure electric range of 83 km. And charging has been improved, as the car can draw up to 11 kW from an AC outlet, reducing charging time to 2.5 hours. Standard equipment for a Porsche Cayenne will include matrix LED lights, the intelligent Porsche Active Suspension Management Suspension, 20-inch wheels, front and rear sensors, a reversing camera and an induction charging area for your mobile phone. On the German market, prices for the basic version start at 89,000 euros.